Libra, it's Empress Rose here. Welcome to your reading, journal reading. Take what works, leave what doesn't. From the bottom of the deck, overall, what are we talking about? Two of Swords. Ignoring something, denial, refusal to see. Your intuition, you know something, but you're not engaging with that knowledge right now. There's a sense of yeah, it's either denial, which denial signifies that we know something and we're not going to have our upper mind know it. Some part of us knows it. That's why we shut down the information because otherwise we would have just like openly received it. So some some part of us looked at something and was like, no, I don't think the rest of us is ready to deal with this or wants to deal with this. So we may be, it's a situation that you may be ignoring or you may... Um, be intentionally or unintentionally ignoring something you already know. So, um, or contemplating it. <laughs> so over on Vimeo, I'm doing love-focused readings. So your reading will be over there. The That reading will be, specific reading will be over there. And the link will be in the description box below. Um, this might be a love reading for all I know. But, um, but right now, you know, it's a, this so far. So let us continue on with the reading. Oh. Okay, I almost wanted to take more from the bottom of the deck, so I'm not going to ignore that. Three of Cups, friendships, relationships, past, present, inner landscape, what's at issue, <laughs> environment, to-do list, Woo. whoa, possible outcome. Hmm, let's put it back. Done. Don't, no. All right. Um, in your recent past, Ace of Cups, a new relationship, a new friendship. Um, yeah, renewal. Renewal, uh, beautiful, emotional, new beginning. You maybe recently met someone or, um, yeah, recently met someone or, um, yeah, it's just a divine or, yeah. That's what I keep just, it's just really simple. You recently met someone or re recently established a relationship with someone. Um, it could be work, co co a colleague, a friend, uh, you know, a romantic relationship, anything like that. So in current situation, we have the moon card. So here she is looking directly at her intuition, contemplating it. Here we have... Okay, yeah, it's back there, but I'm not going to say anything about it or pay any attention. But right now we have, okay, let's look at this directly. Oh my gosh, we have the octopus down here. We have some sort of inner demons coming up. We're sitting on them though. No, he will not come out right now. Um, there's a sense of, you know, and the moon card also can deal with like uh, the place between illusion and intuition. What have we seen clearly? What can be seen? What can't be seen? What can be tamed? What can't be tamed? What can be known? What cannot be known? What is true? What is illusion? Intuition versus um, intuition versus fear. Intuition versus illusion is sort of where you're you're caught right now. Figuring out, you know, what here is true and what here isn't true. Am I just imagining this? Did I just imagine this new beginning? Did I just imagine, you know, do I really know who this person is? What do I know about this person? What do I know about this relationship? You know, it started off with like a nice flow of emotion. And now maybe you're either doubting yourself, doubting the relationship, doubting what happened not quite sure you're seeing the situation clearly and maybe taking a bit of a deeper dive into your feelings, um, trying to sort them out and suss them out. What, what here is my intuition? What here is my fear? What here are like the inner demons that I deal with from time to time? My, um, you know, is, is, are those coming up? Sometimes our inner demons are just like, a, tend to glor a tendency to glorify or fantasize about things, see them as better than they are. Sometimes our inner demons are about self-sabotage, about seeing the negative in things and only that. So it's, it's a lot of internal work and working with your, your feelings about something and trying to see something clearly but not sure. It may not even be possible to see something clearly. It may not even be 
possible, but we have to, we won't know unless we find out, right? If we can understand something. So, you know, it's really interesting. We have to, we have to think about things. We don't want to go to the point where we're ruminating about things and rehashing things, but we also don't want to skip like crucial information by not like thinking about a situation, you know, fairly thoroughly. So, you know, there might be information, useful, actionable information in some sort of thought process, which is what the moon card references. But then at some point that goes into like obsession or a rumination or, um, or fears. So, uh, your hopes, your fears, your inner landscape, I think you're hoping for some, for this, something to be real, um, or what you're thinking about. This could be a uh, page of pentacles could be a child. It's often comes up to me as a child that you're actually thinking about, um, or that's actually here, a real student, a real child. Um, so you want, you want this real thing to hold in your hand, or you might be thinking about an actual child or an actual student. Um, but you could also be wanting to be that or wanting to learn a new skill or wanting a new reality, wanting to understand reality. Oh yeah. Especially next to the moon card, wanting to understand reality and know what's real and what's not real in this situation. Maybe even wanting a new job. You might want a new job here. You might want to learn a new skill, become more skilled at something. You might want a new reality in some way where you're the one that's new to a reality, much like a child is new to our shared reality. You may want to be new to a different reality, such as a job, apartment, or something like that. What's at issue here? The artist in reverse. A lack of creativity, a lack of creative thinking, not seeing a situation clearly, right? Because the artist in the upright is trying to interpret, this is reality. I'm going to interpret it in my way. I'm going to bring what I know to reality. Um, and I'm going to, to put reality down on a piece of paper, but it's going to be unique to me. It's the way I see the situation. Maybe that's a sense here too of this moon card, this contemplation of trying to figure out what's real and what's not real in a situation. And this might be like not understanding maybe that you're allowed to have your interpretation and your truth. He's not a photographer. He's not taking, even a photographer makes a lot of decisions. Um, so maybe like not intentionally making decisions about how you see something or how you want to see something. This could also be maybe an artist, you know, that's like out of sorts or out of whack. <laughs> um, maybe you're not expressing yourself artistically or creatively. Maybe not feeling entitled to your own interpretation. Maybe there is a sense in which you're not engaging with some sort of creative path. You know, I know for myself, if I'm not engaged in, in, in some sort of creative expression, it starts to wreak havoc with my mind and with how I see the world. So that is a necessity, a constant necessity for me um, personally, as far as like artistic expression and needing to have an outlet for that. Um, so. Yeah. All right, in your environment, you have the magician card. So this could be a person or this could be a situation. Uh, everything's ready to go. Um, there's a plan. Somebody has everything they need. There's an opportunity to break a cycle, perhaps. The groundwork has been laid in a situation already laid in a situation. There's someone that's conjuring something, trying to make something happen. This is outside of you. This is your environment. Everything's prepared. Everything's ready for the action to begin. This is like if you're, if you're on set, there are all sorts of little checks. And then finally, 
like, you know, sound, speed, all of this stuff all has to be sort of like, you know, we've got all, all the equipment's running, everything's running okay, everything's right where it needs to be, places everybody, action. So that's the, the magician here is like, uh, places everybody, that's, that's his part in this situation, is, is everybody in their place, can we make the magic now, can we make this happen now? Um, you know, now is it, is it go, everything's prepared, everything's in its place, everyone's in their, um, you know, uh, I want to say like reset to one or everyone's in their like spot where they need to, where they, they work from and they work out of that. Um, their places, everybody basically is what I'm hearing with the magician here. It's like a director, perhaps a conductor. They're going to make something happen. They are making something happen. Could be a director of some kind. I don't really get boss energy. I get more, well, with this artist card here, I get creative boss, like a, a creator of some kind, a creative person, a creator of some kind that is at the beginning planning stages and they've got sort of the plan laid out. Um, and they're preparing everything. Your to-do list is not my favorite thing I've ever seen, dearest Libra. We have five of pentacles. Five of pentacles as a to-do list. This can be paying attention to what you're lacking. Paying attention to your weaknesses. Excluding yourself. Not availing yourself of resources that you could demand. Noticing where you lack things. It's a lack mentality. And so that is just so weird to me as a to-do list, a lack mentality. But there is a point to it, especially like let's pretend you're the magician. You're not in this scenario, but you're the magician. This is like looking out or the mise en place chef, right? You're looking out at your countertop and you're like, okay, this, check, that, check, this, check, that, check. You're going through your checklist. Your mental checklist, I've got my salt, I've got my olive oil, I've got my chopped onions, I've got my, you know, shredded carrots, I've got my, you know, whatever. I've got, and you're going sort of through your recipe and you're checking things off. And so this is like paying attention to what you didn't plan out. What's, wait, wait, wait a minute. Where's our garlic? Well, we can't cook anything without garlic, so we don't have garlic. So... Uh oh, now we got to go to the store and get garlic. It's like paying attention to what you don't have. What's lacking here? What can't you check off? If you have a list of things to do, what haven't you been able to check off? And what do you need in order to be able to check that off? So it, that's what I would say is like focusing on your lack. This can also be about focusing on your budget. Um, you know, we don't want to be too hardcore or wildly um, controlling with our money, but we do want to understand, I think, where it, where it's going, what it's, what where it needs to be redirected, you know, what, how much we don't have and how much we have. So it's just a really interesting thing because I want, you know, we want these readings to be positive and to be great and like focus on how much you have, focus on your abundance, right? This isn't an abundant mentality. This is suggesting that you look at lack for a little bit. So let's get some clues here and that's, that's not satisfying. We're gonna need some tea. There we go. So we're looking at like, what's an illusion, what's not illusion? This could be about look at, looking at what you're not looking at, looking at what a situation lacks. You know, especially if you're feeling tempted by a situation, let's say you really want this car and you're looking at the car and you're trying to figure out if the car works as well as the person says it works. It's a used car, let's say. And if does it work as well as they say it works? What here is true, what here is not true? And this is like paying attention to what it doesn't have. You know what? It doesn't have heated seats. So if you don't have heated seats, you can just get out of my, get out of my driveway little car. Um, you know, what doesn't it have? And that might help you sort out illusion from reality. If this is a relationship you're considering, you know, what, what are some of the, the things that you want out of a relationship that maybe this one doesn't have? So maybe 
you know, yeah, you have a new relationship, but what is missing here? Or what's the information you don't know that you need to know in order to make a decision and move forward? That's exactly what it is. What do you need to know? What, what information would you need to know in order to move forward with the situation? Because what follows this is eight of cups moving forward in a situation where you're at isn't, isn't right. You need to go. So this is just like, okay, you know what we have, we don't have, we don't have garlic here. I'm going to have to go to the store and buy some garlic. Now i go, go get what you want. Go get what you're missing. You're going to need to go get it on a little quest. You know, it's a little bit of a treacherous walk to the store. So like personally, I'd be like, you know what, let's just use something else. I don't know. There's no substitute for garlic really. So, um, but this, <laughs> this is like, go get it then. Whatever you're missing, go get. Whatever's not here, go get it. Go look for it at least. Figure out where you can find the closest garlic. Because you're pretending that you might, you might be pretending that you have all the information or you might be aware that you don't know something and it's just sort of sitting, this sort of reminds me of like something that's sort of sitting in the back of your mind of like, oh, I should really do that. Oh, I should look into that further. Oh, I should, but you don't. And this is saying do, go look into that further, go examine it and then go get what you need. You're missing something. This is a disconcerting reading. What are we missing? It's going to be different for everybody because it's a general reading. But what's missing here? Go get it. Go find it. And what's it have to do with this artist in reverse? Like, are you missing a perspective? Are you missing some paint colors? Are you missing, like, like right now we're missing my mic. My mic is like, uh, my new mic isn't, isn't, isn't able to be with us today. So, um, so like maybe go get the new mic, like there, there might be some sort of creative project and it's not moving forward because you don't have what you need and you're being told extremely clearly to go, then go get what you need. Once you realize what you don't have, go get it, go find it because you want something to happen in reality. Things are coming together, but you, you got to go get something. But first you have to notice, you're sort of in denial that you don't have this thing. You have to notice notice what it is you're lacking here, maybe for an artistic project. <laughs> this is such an interesting reading. Like, you have an art project. You're missing something. You're pretending that you're not missing that thing, but you are missing that thing. And then you need to go, once you sit down and realize and take a good look at what you don't have, you have to go find it. This is a group, you're meant to exclude yourself from the group and leave the group behind and go find better. Like, it's like, you know you can do better. You know there's something better there. Okay, I had a card that flew out. There it is. Wow. Hold on. Okay. Ah, the truth out here on the floor. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, the, the truth that you're not looking at and that you're not seeing and that you're not asking about. There's some kind of truth here. This is about your truth. This is about truth. This would be like, this is like, I don't know what's on my finger. There's nothing on my finger, but you you clearly have something on your finger. It's a raven. It's the truth. It's on your finger. And you clearly have that. So what's the deal here? You know? There's a denial, looking at the truth. What's the truth of the situation? What's the truth of what you don't, what, what you don't have, where you're lacking, what you're not, where you, where you don't fit in, why you don't fit in. Spirit guardian of summer activation work is required time to uh, start sowing seeds um it's got ace of cups vibes all over it we've got one swan which is always interesting because swans are the bird of uh symbology of mating so there's some sort of you got to get to work like this lack is like intentional it's like willful 
Because uh, there's a church that they could go into right there if they wanted to, but they don't want to. Maybe there's like a sobriety test or something before you go into the shelter, but and they, these ones don't want to. They've excluded themselves for some kind of reason. Maybe you just need to be honest about that reason. They feel sorry for themselves. So sometimes this is an exclude yourself. Look at what you don't have because there might be like a choice that you're actually making. You may feel like you don't have a choice, but that's because you're not seeing something very clearly. So spirit guardian of spring activation, some sort of get to work vibe here. Wake up, wake up, wake up. That could be a lot of this too. Wake up, wake up. Starry night, acceptance. Well, and this is about rejection too. This is about, maybe this is about accepting a rejection. Like you've been rejected, accept that. Accept the rejection perhaps. You didn't get the job. You really want the job. You didn't get the job and then maybe move on. And you might need to accept that. Starry night. These are meant also to be like um, synchronicity cards. So ravens might be important to you. Red clothing might be important to you. A swan, daffodils somehow, some sort of maple, although where we're at, where I'm living, there's it's definitely not spring. But starry night, acceptance. I, I'm thinking about like, what's that song about Vincent van Gogh? And that he suffered for his sanity. For seeing and knowing some sort of truth. That's why he was rejected. And not being accepted, being rejected. And I want to say like accepting a rejection. Because we're looking at what we don't have. What we don't have might be. Might be something that we wanted, but it's it's withheld from us. It's not for us. So accepting that, accepting where we're weak, accepting what we don't have, accepting where we've um, seen that. There's like some sort of maybe a little bit of a hard truth to see and accept and understand. Earth stability. So stabilizing. Oh, here we have the swans. They are together here. So there might be swans again, a tree, stability, stability, and this page of pentacles. Very earth, down to earth energy. And that's what's interesting is this moon has sort of this like, I wouldn't say woo energy, this like sort of spooky, spiritual, what's real, what's not real energy. Your hopes and fears are very foundational, tangible. What you hope is for something tangible. What you hope is for this grounded, stable energy. And that's earth energy. That's pinnacle energy. You know, where you're at, where your mind is currently at, might be a little bit up in the ethers, trying to sort stuff out in the spirit realm or in, the, um, in your mind. But here is a desire for stability, for something to be real, to be stable. And we don't have that. Literally, this five of pentacles is we lack the pentacles. We lack the stability. This and, and like being honest about some sort of lack of stability here. And going in search of that, something stable. Because all of these energies, this Ace of Cups, the Moon, the Magician, um, they, they all have this un intangible quality. What you want is something tangible. What you don't have is something tangible. Where you need to go is in search of the tangible thing. Yeah, we can fantasize about garlic all we want, but unless we've actually got it in our kitchen, we don't have garlic. It's not. And we need to, you know, then if you want garlic, you're going to have to go find some, some cloves of garlic. I'm almost seeing her as like, here's my clove of garlic. I'm fantasizing about a clove of garlic. Here's all the garlic I'd like. I'd like actually five cloves of garlic. Thank you. Okay, but you got to go get the five cloves of garlic. 
soup's getting cold, you're going to have to like <laughs> head out and look for that if that's what you want. So, all right, a little prayer for the dear Libra. Rowdy rooster. Wake up. Did we have a wake up call here? No, I don't think this one had the wake up call. Um, authority, influence, responsibility, proud and noble guardian. Grant me the power to rise up and shine. All right, a lot of rise and shine energy. I want to say also like protector. The rooster's there to protect the hens, the eggs. So rooster's rowdy, you know, a little cockfight here could happen. Huh. Yeah, power to rise up and shine. All right, well, activation. Activation. Rise up and shine. Yeah, that's the wake-up call, right? Yeah. All right. Hope that was helpful for you, Libra. Join me over on Vimeo if you like. Um, I do charge a small fee for those videos. I might change the structure. I've been thinking about that, but I'll tell you when I do that. Um, anyway, a small fee for the energy exchange, but it's over there. Link is in the description box. If you have any trouble accessing it, email me at empressrose1111 at gmail.com. Ciao.